Rage from a community after video shows police hitting and cursing at a man while he's overdosing. That man in the video, Eric Lurie, died hours later. Joliet police released their version of the video. And it appears Joliet's mayor also has concerns about the way investigators handled the cruiser video. WGN's Rob Sneed is here with more on that story, Rob. Hey guys, this is certainly a hot topic tonight. The community did not hold back the way they felt about uh, the department as well as what they saw in that video that you guys are about to see mm -hmm. tonight. Now the mayor says the way the department handled this cruiser video was outrageous. Many have questions about why the audio mysteriously cuts off seconds after an officer hits Lori in the face and calls him the B word while he's overdosing. The video is hard to watch. Wake up, bitch. A Joliet police officer is seen on police cruiser video hitting, cursing at, and pinching Eric Lurie's nose as he suffers a medical emergency on January 28th. About 10 seconds later, the cruiser audio mysteriously shuts off and you cannot hear what those officers are saying. This is just one of several reasons why Lori's family and members of the community spoke out at the Joliet City Council meeting tonight. As a nurse, as a professional, I saw multiple opportunities, multiple opportunities that they had to save my cousin's life. And at every opportunity they had, they chose not to. WGN News got the department's edited video into our newsroom. It shows a play-by-play -play version of the police department's side of the story leading up to Lori's death. A video that the mayor says the department cherry-picked who could and could not see it before it was officially released. It's, it's outrageous that a few media members were shown the video before the family or that the, the police department was denying FOIA requests to the media and then showed it privately, but that's what happened. Authorities say on January 28th, the narcotics unit conducted an undercover narcotics investigation, which led to Lori's arrest. In the video, investigators point out, you can see Lori chewing on something as he is handcuffed in the back of the cruiser. Moments later, officers tried to get him out of the car, and that's when things took a turn. The department says officers pinched Lori's nose to get him to open his mouth. Then officers used a baton to try to get something out of his mouth. The department says the officer used the baton to protect the officer's fingers from getting bitten in the process. When it comes to the officer who was sworn to protect and serve this community, hitting Lori in the face and calling him the B word, no explanation. Many in this community want answers, but feel their concerns are falling on deaf ears. I look at the councilman like he up here on his phone. He don't really care, you know what I mean? Because it's like, we, we put y'all here. How, how could y'all even let this happen? How can y'all let this happen and then hide it? Lori's family does not trust how this case was handled. They want the Illinois Attorney General to launch its own investigation into this case. And as for the folks in this community, they say they will fight until they get the answers that they need. Of course, you can again hear just how upset this community is. Right now, many of them said that they feel helpless and hopeless. Thanks, Rob.